Hey everyone, Mr. Happy here, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the details for the upcoming 14-hour broadcast for Final Fantasy XIV. I'm pretty sure this is the second one that's been labeled a 10th anniversary celebration, but hey, until, you know, August rolls around and we get our actual 11th year, you know, everything's a 10th anniversary. Uh, this event is going to be taking place Friday, April 12th in the evening for those of us on the West Coast of the United States, and then in the early morning for East Coast, you know, going over into Europe and whatnot, and it's going to have a slew of different events for us to enjoy. Well, I'm going to be mostly staying up for the first one and then going to bed, but that's just me. So join us for the main broadcast where Yoshi P joins our Warriors of Light in-game for a stroll with Yoshi P. The Primals have a special talk segment to commemorate their 10th anniversary, a roundtable discussion with the development team, and more. We'll also have a secondary broadcast where we'll be having a lighthearted playthrough of the upcoming Final Fantasy XIV tabletop RPG ahead of its May release. I'm actually kind of curious to see how that ends up looking. From what I recall, they said it was basically meant to be like a one-shot D&D campaign uh, that only lasted a few hours, but you could do custom rules with it and all that to draw out the experience a little bit longer. So the broadcast is going to begin at 8 p.m. Pacific, but it's largely going to be a, an introduction for the first hour or so, or at least for the first uh, 30 minutes or so. Just bringing everyone up front and showing us who's going to be starring in what, going over what the actual broadcast will be. But the beginning is a very, very exciting bit because we have our next letter from the producer live. What is that? Part 80, I think is what that is. Uh, and then they have a bunch of other stuff throughout the night at, uh, you know, Midnight Pacific IRL Minions, which I'm assuming is cats and dogs. I guess we'll find out here in a second. The Primal's 10th anniversary, Leaping Forward and Back. They mentioned that. Nice cruise chaser wordplay. A stroll with Yoshi P. This is where we usually get some footage of Yoshi P doing some endgame content. And we've seen he's pretty good. So probably get some... Uh, Good Reddit segments to wake up to from that one. And in the early morning on the West Coast, developer roundtable discussion. I'm actually kind of curious to see if I can tune into this and get a translation because that's right about the time my stream normally begins. They're also going to be giving that tabletop RPG a go, but that's going to be an almost 12 hour stream. So maybe they're not doing one of the shorter campaigns. Maybe they're actually doing something that's a little bit longer or maybe they'll spend a lot of time breaking it down and talking about it. So first 30 minutes, introduction, opening remarks, rundown of the broadcast, and the letter from the producer live. This is a two and a half hour live letter. Now, this is especially important because this is not going to be a translated live letter. At least there's no indication that it will be. Uh, in fact, I'm pretty sure the other post specifically states that the audio is only in Japanese. Uh, we'll be covering the latest information on the upcoming Dawn Trail expansion, as well as sharing some interesting Final Fantasy XIV related data for fun. The big question on everyone's mind is how that split is going to work. How much of it is going to be Final Fantasy XIV related data for fun and how much of it is going to be new information? Now, let me be one of the probably not the first person to tell you this, and it's not even the first time I've said this. This will not be the combat live letter. There is no expectation of a job action trailer or any major overarching combat changes such as reworks or job additions. What you may hear about that's still technically on the table the benchmark and the release date for it. I'm of the opinion it won't happen here only because I think with the graphics update, they're going to want to get that as late as possible to make sure it's as polished as possible since people are going to be getting to see their characters in the new graphics you know, setting first. So they, they don't want it to be lacking anything. Now, they do have the other option of releasing it as is and letting people get a feel for it and run the benchmark on their current PCs as early as possible, which is something they actually do need to consider. And honestly, I think supersedes the perfect graphics problem that they may want. They also have the option to potentially put out an updated one later if they really want to polish stuff. So the benchmark is probably the big thing people are expecting out of this. But we could also get any sort of uh, tertiary information about the expansion we haven't gotten yet. Changes to other underlying systems that we haven't gotten any sort of indication about. There's plenty of room for stuff to be mentioned, but this is one of those live letters we really can't predict because we all want it to be job action stuff, but it's not going to be job action stuff. So I expect the data section to actually be about half of it, if not 
more just so they don't have to do too much. And I also expect a recap section as well as if, you know, we didn't know what was happening in the expansion at this point. Show us your IRL minions. It's a showcase of real life minions bringing joy to the warrior of light. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be just people sharing their pets. That's an incredibly cute cat. And that's going to be with Yoshi P and Fox Clan as well. Then we have the Primal's 10th anniversary looking forward and back. Now, not only are they going to be talking about the last 10 years of performing, but they also have some announcements in the second half of the segment. Now, most people would assume that that is a tour because the Primals have sort of toured before, but really only toured within Japan itself. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's kind of difficult. I mean, Soken works on the game a lot, you know, they're, they're all pretty busy. So doing a full blown tour, anything outside of Japan is kind of not expected. I, of course, would love to see the announcement of a Western tour of some kind, maybe just a few cities, you know, uh, maybe L.A., you know, somewhere in Texas, somewhere in New York, you know, just a, like a handful of locations, you know, just to just to you know, wet the whistle of the fans, you know, overseas. And then, of course, in Europe as well, maybe U.K., maybe France, you know, a few different places. But I don't I don't think that's going to happen. I think if anything, they announce another Japanese tour. Stroll the OCP. This is where he goes into the game. Uh, he's actually just going to be doing alliance raids this time. So we're not going to see him do anything crazy like savage raids like we've seen him do in the past. And then they're going to talk about some behind the scenes stories about the development of the alliance raids. So that'll be interesting. And they haven't announced what server that's going to be on, but it'll be on a JP server. And then finally, that developer roundtable chats between various members of the development team. What fascinating new insights might our developers share about their work behind the scenes? A lot of behind the scenes stuff kind of expected. That's very normal for the 14 hour broadcast. And uh, we usually do get some really interesting tidbits out of that. And then, of course, the Final Fantasy 14 tabletop RP. <laughs> <laughs> the, seeing the split damage marker on the table there really got me wiling for a second. The uh, stack marker right there. Whew. Um, and then that's going to have the lead item designer, the art team lead, the lead project manager, community, ma and then uh, a community manager and two community planners. So a lot of stuff to watch for here. I'll be covering specifically that live letter. Like I mentioned, I will be co-streaming it as I normally do. And of course, I'll be posting an update for those of you waiting for news here on YouTube. We will also be doing a state of the realm on that letter from the producer live. And I've got a couple of other things planned for this week while we're waiting for that. But that is going to cover all of our details for the 14 hour broadcast for Final Fantasy 14. Be sure to like and subscribe. Definitely stay tuned as we get closer and closer to Dawn Trail. Any news that comes out, any preparation you need to be doing. I got you on that. So thanks for watching. And until next time, take care.